All right, Mom, are you ready to try some snacks from Mexico? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What's up, everyone? My name is Alexandria, and this is the Foreign Fork, where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're doing one of my very favorite things in the world to do, a snack taste test with a mama foreign fork. Hello. So my mom, if you've watched our other taste testing videos, you'll know that her arm is healed, no more cast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, today we're gonna be experimenting with some Mexican snacks. Well, let's start with this tamarind candy. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. all right, let's start with the tamarind candy. Okay, the texture is like granulated sugar kind of, like I feel like I'm chewing on granulated sugar. It's all together. Granulated. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, we tried it. Mm hmm. Glad we tried it. Mm. So these are pica fresa. I say pico. Pica fresa. This keeps, get, keeps getting sweeter in my mouth. Me too. Right? Yeah, oh, it's still, it's, uh -huh. I can still taste that mm -hmm. tamarind candy. Okay. These are strawberry flavored gummies, but they don't feel very gummy. No, they don't. They I feel thought like they were hard candy. candy. Yeah. Maybe I kept them in my car for too long. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, well, this may be user error here. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't oh. think there's user error. I think there's something in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a, a whole spicy. lot of flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with the, with the okay. peanuts. Okay. The next thing are japones con chile. Japanese peanuts with chili powder on the outside. Oh. I got worried that was my tooth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, no, that's okay. Mm. I like those. They're okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my favorite so far. Yeah, mine too. It says chili powder, but it's very mild. And that was very, that was an enjoyable snack. Yes, I like I that I liked one. that snack. Mm -hmm. I'd eat that on a road trip. I say we do this one. All right. It's gonna be spicy. And then end with the sweet. Do you, okay. do you concur? I do. This one? Mm -hmm. It looks like a firecracker. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I agree. Like and an M80. Maybe. There's lots of like powder on the bottom here. I'm wondering if you like bite it off, if you want to re-dip. But maybe no, it's a lollipop, There's so maybe it's hard. You suck off all of the powder that's on the sucker, mm -hmm. and then you can re-dip in all this powder that's down here. Well, only if you're the only one eating them. Paleta de sandia, watermelon lollipop. Okay, so it's like a cheese slice kind of shape. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the color's scaring me a little yeah, bit. A little orange a little bit. <laughs> color's making me a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and when do you get to the watermelon? <laughs> Spot of it to get down to the watermelon, so I don't just take well, my whole mouth. Smart. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the center? <laughs> really, they have these for like en enjoyment. <laughs> there we go. Mm. There's some good watermelon mm -hmm. in there. I think I put it under the sink and wash all that up. Look at how big of weenies we are. Look at those teeny tiny little went, quarter bites. I went really big the first time, and then I was like, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I gotta be brave and do one no, more I'm like you. Mm. I have a green and white color inside of my lollipop. My mom did not. All right, El Chavito. What you got in store for us <laughs> now? Marzipan. This is, we've had marzipan before. Yes. Peanut candy. Well, I always thought marzipan was almond, but these are cute. Yes. They're wrapped. And they're wrapped nicely. Well, wrapper has yeah. a rose on it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like peanut butter. Mm hmm. Tastes like, tastes like something in it. Can't put my finger on it. Well, tastes like the dry inside of a Reese's. Really dry. Really dry. Really dry. Fudge. Uh huh. Dried out fudge, probably. I don't know. Just fudge. You know how fudge tastes after you eat it. Oh. Not too good. Sugary. Peanut your butter tongue. fudge. Mm hmm. Yep. Peanut butter fudge. Right. Lose a little film. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was tasty. Mm hmm. I wish it was not so crumbly. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that tastes like peanut butter fudge. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah, I like that good. one. All right, mom. All right, 
Give me your rating. What um, do you think? The cookies are number one. Okay. No, I think the peanuts are two. Okay. Then the tamarind paste. Uh -huh. If I had to choose this one, the, or the strawberry gummy. Mm hmm And the watermelon thing last. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did not enjoy that. My favorite is the Japanese peanuts. My second is the marzipan. Third, I liked the tamarind paste. Fourth would be the watermelon lollipop. And fifth would be the strawberry gummy. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and then don't forget to check out all of the other videos on my channel. We have some really fun, funny, enjoyable taste test videos to see, and then also recipes from all around the world. Can I say that I tried frog legs today for the first time? You so did. she cooked them, yes, and I was hesitant. The last time she cooked them, I wouldn't participate, but they were very yummy. So there's and a, a lot of meat on those little legs. They're it's amazing, <laughs> it is. So it was yummy. So don't forget to check out that video too. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.